hi guys welcome back so today's video i am taking the time to sit down with you and give you a detailed video on how to install your wig for the best results this video is going to have so much detail in it so make sure you stay from beginning to end if you would like to know how to get the best installs to look like this First things first, let's start with the wig because the wig is going to be important when it comes to your wig looking realistic. So today's wig of choice is a new hairline wig and I'm choosing to use this type of wig so that I don't have to do much work prior to my install and my hairline will already come looking natural and there's no tweaking you need to do. So I will be sure to put this wig below in the description box so be sure to check down there and I will also link a discount code. So I've already washed this wig. Today we are not styling the wig at all. We are focusing mostly on how to get that hairline um, to look very natural, how to get the cleanest install. So what I'm doing here is just blow drying the hair out. Um, so today's video is only going to focus on giving you guys the best install that you can ever have with a lace wig. And that's where the focus is going to be. Tomorrow I'm going to come back and show you guys how you can style this wig because this wig is so versatile that you can get so many different hairstyles. And I'm also going to be doing a follow up on how this wig install held up in tomorrow's video so make sure your notifications are turned on so you won't miss part two FYI I did not bleach the knots on this wig the only thing I've used is the tinted lace by Eben and I'm using the light beige all over the inside of the cap and then for the hairline, I'm using a darker color, which is the light medium brown because my forehead is a different color from my scalp and I want to make sure that it blends right. As you can see, this wig is a 13 by 6, so you get lots of parting space at the front and then in the back you have the combs, you have the adjustable strap, and of course it is wefting in the back, but you can get a lot of different styles with this wig. Tomorrow's video will show you guys a different style that you can do as far as parting. All right, so as you guys can see, the hairline is gorgeous. So today I want to show you how to get the best um, hold before I do any installs I usually take the back of my um, wigs and I tighten the adjustable strap so that the wig won't slide all over the place um, while I'm trying to do my install as you guys know I love the even wonder lace I've been using it consistently since they well not since they first came out but for the past few months so I have all three cans here the yellow can which is like your daily use the red can which is the acts of use and they recently have released and I believe this is a new one but this one is the Wonder Lace Supreme so if you haven't noticed already they kind of made the spray version of their wig glue so as you can see you have the red one which is the active and then you have the black one which is the supreme but i prefer the cans because they are so fast and so easy to use that's not to say that these glues aren't good i've used both of these and i like the black like i don't know why i like the black one better i have worked out with this and it has really held very well of course when i'm working out like i tell you guys all the time i always tie down my hairline to make sure that sweat don't bother because at the end of the day these sprays do lift with water i guess my biggest thing is will they cure back after i finish my workout and that usually does happen with this okay so today's install i want to show you how to get the best hold but you just want to make sure that when you sweat it's not going to come up or so i'm gonna give you my tips on what i like to do okay, so the number one tip i would highly recommend is to make sure that your hairline is pushed back you do not want the wig to have hair all over the place you want to make sure that you know push back and everything is clean some people can like separate the baby hairs and do it well i mean if you have those type of skills that's fine but you want to make sure if you're a beginner to this, you push that hairline back. I like to use a hot comb. You also want to make sure that your natural hairline is not all over, you know, the area. I like to pull my wig forward so it's in front of the hairline. We're going to talk about the size in a second because I know it's different. Your hairline is kind of shaped, so you have to work the size a bit different. 
but you definitely just want to make sure you push that hairline out of the way on that wig before you start doing any type of gluing. So today I'm not styling this wig. Tomorrow I'm going to come back and show you guys what my install looked like after I have, you know, went through my night, my workout, my full day, and I'm gonna also show you guys how I touch up and also style. So we'll do the styling and the follow up tomorrow. So make sure your notifications are turned on so you won't miss that video. So once you have that done, you want to next make sure that your wig fits properly. I always try on my wigs to make sure they fit. If it's too like loose in the back, tighten up the straps. If it's too small, you may want to just go with a different size. What I also do is make sure that lace here fits properly. Um, a lot of times when I get my wigs, it never fits properly, like line up from ear to ear correctly. So I always have to go back and trim. So I definitely recommend trimming around the ear area, guys, like right around here, so that it lays flat. So what I'm gonna do is just take my scissors and cut away this area so that it lays around the ear properly without having any bulging. And then I'm going to do the same thing with this side. And this part is important because if your sides do not lay flat, they're gonna lift. And if you are a person who have a lot of hairline, as far as your hair comes down, you wanna make sure you keep that hair out of this area where you're gonna glue because let's be honest, a lot of these wig adhesives, they don't stick to hair, it sticks to skin. So you wanna to try to make sure that the hairline, like I said, is pushed further enough in front of the, your natural hairline so it's touching your skin. All of this here is in front of my hairline, but a lot of times at the sides, if I don't like take some gel and push that back, it can't interfere. So the two things here, make sure your hairline is lined up properly around the ear and make sure that your natural edges are pushed back. The next step that I've started doing that I was not doing before is putting slits on the lace. This will only apply if you are just applying your wig for the first time. So all this extra lace here, as you can see, the lace is blending very well. You can barely see it, but it's right here. If I can get my camera to focus, okay, it's right here. So I'm gonna take my scissors and I'm going to right in this area here, put one slit all the way to the hairline of the wig. You can go in it just a tad bit, like a little bit, not too much. And then I'm gonna do the same thing right here. And you should be, have like three flaps. And the reason I'm doing this is so that when I go to glue it down, my technique, the way I glue my wig down, I wanna make sure that I can lay everything flat. So you wanna do that first. And it should basically look like this. All right, so let's glue it down. Like I said, today I am using, where's my can? Oh my God, I put it down somewhere. Okay. The Even Wonder Lace Supreme Hold Spray. This, is, this one is my favorite, you guys. I love this one so very much. Like my second favorite would be the red can and then the yellow can, if I had to put it in order. And this one is great. Like it feels comfortable. It doesn't feel crunchy. I can wear it, sweat, let my hairline dry, and then it still is held. Like no lifting when it comes to this. So my old technique when I applied my wig with this spray was to spray under the lace. And I stopped doing that because I hate when it runs down my face. Also, I noticed that I sometimes spray the wrong area. So when I spray the wrong area, when I let it dry and I go to cut the lace, the area that I end up needing to be laid down is not laid down. So now I take the spray and I do it over top of the hairline because I can actually see where I'm spraying. It does require you to do just a little bit of cleanup, but not too much. I'll show you that in a little while after we get through the install. What I like to do is, hold on, let me grab my dryer because you're gonna need your dryer for this. Grab my dryer and I'll be right back. Now, I do wanna say this because some people have told me they find that when they use adhesives, even the sprays, they lose their edges. I only have that happen when I'm just snatching my wig off. If, if I notice that the wig isn't glued properly in certain areas, sometimes it can slide, which can pull on your edges. So that's why I always say to make sure it's apply a little bit more forward where your hairline is not in the way. And also just making sure that when you are sweating, 
heavy. You are tying down that hairline so that if it's sliding, it's not pulling or going back into your natural edges. And just the removal, making sure you soak the hair, the hairline really well with water and let it loosen up before you pull your wig off like so those are some tips that I found has been really helpful let's get into this install so what I'm going to do is take the spray and I'm going to start with the sides I'm going to make sure that this area is as saturated as possible not too much you want to spray enough where moist but not not like running all down your face and you want to spray into the hairline of the wig you don't want to spray it on the lace because it will um, cause the lace to stick in areas you don't want it to stick just make sure you stay in that hairline spray gentle don't go overboard just lightly and just take your finger and push the spray back into the hairline of the wig Hope you guys can see that because my camera don't want to focus today. Get this side area a little bit more. Just press it back. Now imagine if you had baby hairs and all that and strands of hair in a way. It would be a mess right now. So quickly I'm going to take my dryer and dry it. But I'm not going to dry it completely. I'm going to dry it for like 20 seconds and then we'll move on. that's it so basically you don't want to completely dry it in order for this to work properly you want to make sure you are laying that hairline you want the hairline to be nice and flat in order to do that you will need to tie it down with something that is not going to stick to your hairline so I'm going to use my sleigh band and I love my sleigh band because it is so easy to use I wear this when I work out so that my hairline can stay in place and it's also like not something that people will be like, OK, what is that around your head? Um, because I do keep mine very fashionable. I will link this below in the description box. So take your sleigh band. Let me see if I get this to focus correctly. OK, take your sleigh band. And you want to line it up, starting at the forehead like so. And then you want to pull, pull, take it around over take it over top of the ears and then attach it as tight as you can without being uncomfortable just like so and just let it press that hairline and then you want to dry it for at least five minutes with your dryer on a cool setting and then let the sleigh band sit on your head with like this for 15 minutes total I make sure to focus that dryer on the areas hairline is very thick on the sides or at the top wherever if you know it's going to get into your hair you want to make sure it dries because the adhesive is going to dry faster on skin than it will in hair strands so just focus the dryer on areas where you feel like it's slower at drying um, so that's usually my size and then we're going to just let it sit another thing I like to do is just take the lace and just pull it a little bit so that you won't get that wrinkles those wrinkles in your lace um but if you let this dry with the sleigh band completely for 15 to 20 minutes um, i promise you you won't have any wrinkles or any of that and even if you do have wrinkles if you didn't use the sleigh band like if you was to do your install without the sleigh band and then you notice this part wrinkles up you can just take the sleigh band put it on um, for like 15 minutes you could probably if you wanted to go back with a little bit of heat adhesive but let it sit for 15 minutes and it should flatten it down so that's the one thing I do love so we're going to let this sit for 15 minutes and I'll be back okay so after your 15 minutes you want to go ahead and just remove the sleigh band um, you want to be gentle and just kind of let it release without pulling too much on that hairline and now we're going to cut the lace so as you can see, everything is adhered. The sides are down. 
the top is down and stuck and so is this side so like i said if you cut it evenly from ear to ear go around that ear um properly it should lay flat here so what i'm gonna do now is cut the lace however i don't have my razor with me i would prefer to use a razor but i have no idea where i put it since my birthday so i'm just going to use the scissors but what you want to do is kind of go like this under the lace to get any of the extra lace that's stuck to your head loosen that way you can kind of peel it up before you go to cut so you know exactly where to cut away and it won't interfere with the hairline kind of get it lifted you can do this with a rat tail comb also and I'm just going to break that hairline up a little bit push it back because it is kind of stuck down just from all the adhesive. And you want to make sure your hot comb is warm and not hot because you don't want to burn yourself. Okay, so now I'm going to go in with the scissors and I am going to begin cutting away that extra lace. And you want to follow the hairline as close as possible. That's one piece, that's the front. Now for the sides, the biggest mistake I see a lot of girls make is once they cut the lace, you can see the edge going down the side of their head of that lace and the reason that happens is because you're not cutting the hairline close enough to the actual hairline of the wig so if you leave a if you leave any lace edge here it will show like there's no way to really lay it down for the sides so what i'm going to do is i'm going to start here and i'm going to cut as close to the hairline as possible and I used to make the same mistake and wonder why the hairline on the sides was still showing, like the edge of that lace. But I recently figured out that I'm not cutting it far enough back. Okay, this part is kind of stuck. We're just going to pull that on up. Okay. And if you get any residue, you can take some water and just clean it up wipe it away like so but then I'm going to do the same thing with this side okay so now what you want to do is take your edge brush and Scrape the hairline down and this is going to also like break up all that flakiness from the adhesive and kind of get that out of the hair. If you wanted baby hairs at this time, this would be the time to create them. If not, you just kind of just move past that step. I'm going to take a little bit of water on my brush and just brush through the hair like so. And don't worry about the flakes. They will fade. Trust me, they will fade. I would recommend doing your hairline the night before. Like doing, putting your wig on the night before you wear it. That way you can kind of make sure that you have enough time to let everything settle.
Then what I'm going to do is take some hair mousse and touch those edges. I'm going to touch the edges um, to lay it down. Just the edges that you can see sticking up. And again, you want to make sure um, you're not putting too much spray. That's why I didn't go back with the adhesive spray because I don't want too much of that. So the hair mousse kind of gives you that extra hold and everything without getting overdone, okay? If you use too much of the um, adhesive spray, it will definitely turn white. So don't go back too much with it. I'm gonna do it like this. Just apply that hair mousse, especially at the sides. And then we're gonna do what I talked about before. We're gonna again take that sleigh band, focus it on the edge of that lace. And we're gonna let this sit for at least 20 minutes, okay? Or if you can let it sit for an hour, that'll be great too. The longer you let it sit, the flatter it's going to be and the more your lace is gonna melt. Um, it really don't take that long to be honest. So 15 to 20 minutes is great. A total all together will be 30 minutes. So yeah. So look at the parting. The parting looks so much like scalp. It's so natural. And this is why I love using the tinted lace because if you have a wig where the knots are not extremely huge, which the knots on this wig are basically invisible, you can use a tinted lace spray and cover those knots very easy. If you are using a wig and the knots are bigger, you want to double coat, meaning you want to spray several times, um, letting it dry in between so that you can get the best results. So if you follow the tips in today's video, you should have the best wig install you have ever done on your lace wig because every tip that I've shared in today's video has been raw. This is everything that I do when I apply my wig and this is what a lot of other people who have realistic looking wigs do and it only took me 25 minutes to do this install so that is not a long time at all. Um, a lot of people think that there is a lot of work to installing a wig if you mind this out, you know, doing anything with your natural hair or all the customization, which you don't need for this wig, it only takes 25 minutes to get the best install of your life. So again, I will put everything down below in the description box. You guys, this wig is amazing. If you are a beginner and you don't want to do any customization to the hairline and all that stuff, this wig is it. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you are new to my channel, I hope you take the time and subscribe. And I hope that you guys come back for more videos. And yeah, drop me some comments, like the video, share it with someone that you feel like need the help. And I will see you all back in my next video.